Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Jen. Today we're going to be doing another reaction video. I seen this tea video. Sorry, I apologize. I see this tea video come up and it seems interesting. It's about Corey getting arrested, something like that. So, you know, we got to jump into the tea and see what's up. Hope you guys enjoy my videos and make sure you guys smash that like button and comment down below what you guys want me to react to next. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. I will have them down below. Let's connect. Let's jump right into this video. We're also on our way to 2K subscribers. So let's have this family keep on growing and comment what you guys want to be named. If you guys want to have a certain name or anything, let me know. previous video I spoke on Boogie's ex-girlfriend attending performance in mm. Memphis. Now she had reposted the flyer of 901 day and stated we outside. Now footage of his performance has surfaced and people were shocked to see her there but not only was his ex there his baby mama was there as well now obviously his baby mama would be there because his daughter was there and of course she's probably going to attend with her daughter but people was just so surprised to see them both there now it appears that his ex-girlfriend and his baby mama actually have a good relationship not sure about how they feel about him dating carmen as of now but people in his comment section were saying things like why y'all keep playing with carmen but anyways you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment i'm gonna leave my opinion on with this one i don't believe they're together and the only reason why i said it is because like i haven't seen carmen post him i haven't seen really much anything yes she's been to the shows and stuff but in my opinion i feel like she's going like for um like like you know they do like collabs or like you know just coming out to promote themselves or whatever it is i don't see them together but hey they are that's that's good for section her below i mean technically his baby mama is family and maybe he's just really close to his ex-girlfriend where they're still very supportive of him but let's move on to this next topic with Corey pritchett and his dad Corey pritchett now Corey's dad Corey was arrested over the weekend Shaking for a head. dv Domestic dispute mind. now if you guys don't know what dv is it's a physical crime against your partner which Corey has been accused of that as well now Corey, like father like son Mm. hasn't been live like he normally is so he's probably dealing with that back at home now danny was on probably facebook is. trying to clear her name of all these scamming allegations claiming the girl sherelle that's been exposing her has taken <clears throat> money from someone to actually put out information that she's a scammer yeah you know i've been i've been nudie i i had already knew what was going on was behind these fake scam and shit, right? I had already knew. But see, I'm the type of person, I don't care to clear certain shit up because I don't give a fuck how a motherfucker feel about me. If you want to think that I'm a scammer, oh, so fucking well, you can think that shit. But here's my thing, y'all. And I'm going to let y'all keep tuning in. I'm going to let y'all keep tuning in. I'm going to let y'all keep tuning in. I really want to end this live and put a caption on my live and then go live again because I, I really forgot to put a caption on this live. But, you know, I just been letting people do their little shit, been talk, talk, go ahead and talk your shit, do your little thing or whatever because I already knew where this shit came from before the dude even did the little TikTok video. Y'all go look at the last video I just posted. But anyway. The ugly raccoon eyed ass bitch gonna sell a thousand dollars. Bitch, you that broke that you accept a thousand dollars to blast me as a mother I'm a bitch, I'm gonna give you ten thousand dollars. Bitch, I'm gonna put nine more thousand on top of her. If you guys know who this person is, can you comment down below because I'm I'm a little lost. I'm a little lost with what she's talking about. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Bitch, your broke ass took a thousand dollars 
to lie. That's why y'all and y'all dumb ass be, be tuning in to the shit. That's why nobody could have no daddy proof. They said I be depositing the, the, the people taxes into an unknown bank account. Okay, can't you take your ass to the bank and get a copy of all that shit? If, if the bank tell you that your refund been deposited to another account, what a paper at? The bank don't give you a motherfucking paper and you know where the fuck your tax refund went to. Why the fuck can't, could nobody pay uh, see, post that motherfucking paper? Mm. Why can't nobody post that paper? Because I know the bank will give you a motherfucking paper telling you this is where your, your refund went to. This is the amount that we deposit. Such such I'm so annoyed. Like, why are we looking at her purse this whole time? Like, flip the camera. Flip the camera. I don't want to see your bags this whole time. Like, damn. Jesus. So why the fuck could nobody post that motherfucking paper? I'm so tired of y'all weird ass people just want clout. The only thing going around is messages of me going back and forth with a motherfucking client. You damn right. If a client get down wrong with me, I don't give a fuck if you're an eight-year client. Still, your client, bitch, if you curse me out, bitch, I'm cursing your ass back out. Call me unprofessional now. I don't give a fuck. Do you hear me? So here's my thing. This bitch gonna sell a thousand dollars from Kayla Brown. Weird ass. How you weird as hell. And half of your partner's trying to come under me. Now, Sherelle did respond to Danny. She's still claiming that she's a scammer. This is what she had to uh -oh. say. Now, Danny, you know that girl ain't paid me to expose you. You knew right after Ashley Grayson got her indictment that people started inboxing me, telling me that you were scamming them. That's why you went ahead and blocked me when I started posting about you. Now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to the next topic. You said I need to be in front of CPS crying for my motherfucking kid back. My child is not with CPS. I was homeless. And I allowed my child to go stay with my auntie. She filed for sole custody of him. Be for real. Been fight for my child. Still fight for my child. Gonna continue to fight for my child. But you want everybody to show you an M. You show us an M. Come on. Show us. Hurry up now. Screen record it. Sign into your bank account. And show us an M. I'll be waiting. You talking about you gonna take my motherfucking child? You wish you could take my child. You need to take your children. The fuck? You some mm. millionaire, you this and you that, but your kids is down there on your mama while she's struggling. Girl, I wake up and yeah. go to sleep to my daughters every day. Sebastian is in the country with his godmom and his father, and I'm fighting for Malachi. whoop de doo you want a cookie? You want a cookie? For explaining my story on a bigger level, on a bigger audience, and it ain't even a bigger audience. Bitch, my audience is bigger than yours. So you really ain't giving these people nothing. Damn. You're not. But what you are giving them is signs of a guilty conscience. Signs of somebody who know that they fucking up. And now you're on the internet just saying all types of random ass shit. Which, it doesn't bother me at all. Like and can someone else comment down below, please, what in what aspect are they saying like she's scamming? Like, what is she doing that she's saying that she's scamming and all this extra stuff? Like, is she doing hair and, and da, 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 da just so i can get like like i just needed the whole story like comment down below the whole story because i am so lost or i'm gonna have to try to see if i can find it but i'd rather you guys just tell me because y'all probably know m way more than i do anyway like you know me i'm gonna respond to it but at least if you're gonna mention something say it right <laughs> good come on i done told the story a million times a million fucking times i went to jail for beating up a bitch when i went to court about my son and the bitch said something slick you ain't you ain't report that, did you? Mm. But then that's that's lame. Like exactly, you're gonna go for for your son, and then you do that. Now it's gonna take you even longer to get your kid. Certain situations, I feel like some people need to just bite their tongue and just keep it moving for like things that you really care about and shit. You know, I mean, hey, it, it happened. What is what it is? I'm not, you know, no one to judge or whatever it is. But I feel like she should have just bit her tongue and just kept it moving. <sighs> typical. That's the mob typical, business. typical, typical. But anyways, you said nobody can go in for in with you. I never claimed to have a million dollars, so I don't give a fuck what you're talking about with that. But um, you, we, you show us some M, and I'm quite sure people will be inclined to show their M. Because we ain't seen no money you're talking about. 
We talking about all them lease cars? Girl, please. Please, Shira. Go to bed, baby. You in your closet yelling with the camera facing your bags. We don't care about your bags. I could get fake bags, too. I can. I have a direct plug to the fake bags. Just know. All types of fake bags as well. But anyway, let me continue scrolling up and down TikTok to see what more you saying. Because you got me blocked as fuck. So I can't see. Any real bitch would have me unblocked. So I could talk my shit where I need to talk my shit at. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't like that. You ain't cut like that. It's okay. And I ain't even going to try to gaslight you into being that type of person. You want me blocked so that I can't see what you're saying directly. I got to wait to see it posted on another platform. Then that's perfectly fine. But anyways, show us the M, Miss Millionaire. Show us. Hurry. Oh, well, well, well. That was the end of that one. Um, I don't know. What you guys think? Comment down below. You think she's really scamming? You think this specific? of keeping quiet oh, my shit. past guest Lakissa took what the heck anyways you guys really think she's really scamming or this other girl is lying or she you know she's doing everything I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm just finding out this stuff out um but yeah like let me know comment down below and let me know what you guys want me to react to next and I will be soon with a story time mukbang the thing is what i'm dealing with is i'm trying to find like a perfect spot to do the mukbang like i want the bit the video to look nice i want it to have quality i don't know if i'm gonna do it in here or somewhere else so that's what i'm just like waiting for i know um some of you guys have asked when i'm gonna do it i will be having it up soon um i just gotta prepare for that and just you know i want it, I want it to look nice and you know tell my story to y'all but I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys keep staying tuned in. Share this video. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We're on our way to 2,000. I almost said 2 million. Yes, we are. We're going to manifest 2 million very soon. Um, but yeah. So I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. But we gonna learn how to love. We gonna learn how to love. Yeah, yeah. Thinking of the time I had you